to my baby son of a tree. Now I'm simply going to ask you to watch me you. Every day I wish more and more that I could just have a conversation with Soldier. Who among us, who among us could not benefit from a one-on-one -on -one with the boy? By the way, I just took a cold shower, not like on purpose, but because my apartment is broken or something. I read online it's supposed to help with depression. I don't feel happy. I just feel cold. Nothing. I literally thought I was going to walk out and be like, I'm ready to start over. I'm just like, my head hurts. Oh, by the way, I'm still making cameos on the app Cameo. If you go in the description, there's a link to my Cameo profile where I'll make a video for you for a small fee. I'm not doing this for free. <sighs> it's a great deal. Is it? And if you're friends with me IRL, just shoot me a text. Uh, I'll do it 50% off and uh, you can cash at me. So we, we can figure this out. The other day I went to a wedding and my friend took a picture of me where I looked skinny and amazing and good. But there's more. <laughs> Let's start from the beginning. <laughs> this picture but is it really what I look like there is something going on you so listen to my story that's right da, 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 da. so my friend invited me to this wedding because her friend canceled on her which is like a fine way to be invited to a wedding weird way to be invited to a funeral like hey so Julie flaked do you want to come to Todd's memorial on Friday it'll be low-key just like we're black to go because I kind of like weddings and also I hadn't seen her for a while and also I needed to do something I only go to CVS for real I go about two to three times a day and I mean that by the way CVS is always playing a song that like you forgot makes you cry or cry as much as like you're able to like if you're like me and you're on like the wrong mix of antidepressants and your body literally stopped producing tears two years ago and you wish you didn't know the actual anniversary I love CVS so the only bad time I've ever had at CVS was when the cashier told me that my shirt remind it was like a weird kind of artistic shirt he was like that reminds me of a reddit thread where people post like these weird abstract computer generated images of naked women and I was like you need to stop talking I actually got him fired, and I'm joking. I actually got him a promotion. Vloggers do have that power. People don't realize it. I rarely get invited to weddings. Like, I've never been described as the life of the party. Like, in fact, if anyone ever said that to somebody else, the second person would laugh and be like, wait, are you serious? He ruined my birthday. Last time I went to a real party, I started dancing and, like, feeling myself. And literally, a group of people my age started pointing and laughing at me, and I mean that. It literally sounds like a bad dream, but that's life. A nightmare. JK, I kinda like it. By the way, I'm not the life of the party except for the one wedding I went to like three years ago where I had a five hour energy extra strength, and I was a lot. I, I ruined some friendships. Story time coming soon. The second that she texted me being like, do you want to come to a wedding? The second she said wedding, I was already like sending her pictures of like outfits. I was like, socks or no socks? Shave the beard? What's going on? Like, I didn't want to look like a loser so badly. The only nice clothing I have is like one gray blazer, which is like kind of hot, but kind of upsetting. I'll show you. Like, it's too tight, but it's also too big, you know? And I, I look like a guy who only has one blazer. I don't know how else to describe it. And when I sent her a picture of this, she sent me a picture of another blazer that she has and was like, I don't hate this for you. And I was like, you think I'm pretty? She was like typing, not typing, typing, not typing, typing, not typing, five minutes later. My phone died. So we got there and it was like a nice place, but I'm just not good at talking to strangers. Like some people say they're not good at it, but they still do it. I don't even try. The thing about talking to strangers in small talk, I think, is that it has to be boring at first. Like, you have to feel it out and see if you're allowed in this dynamic to mention the fact that you are very scared. Of course, at any social event, I have that fantasy in my head where it's going to be like a movie and somebody cool is going to walk up to me and be like, you don't like these things either, do you? And I'm like, is it that obvious? And then we start like joking around and it's amazing. And I'm like, oh my god, are we the only two people here who watch Six Feet Under? But hey, <laughs> life's not like the movies. <laughs> Let's start from the, or no, we already did that. Yeah, my friend was like talking to people and I was literally just standing there. Like I just was standing. If somebody asked, what did you think of Drew? They'd be like, he has two feet and he uses them. The worst part was we met these people and I only remembered one of their names. It was a guy named Jason. And I was like, what's your name? And he was like, Jason. And later on, I saw him at like the cocktail hour and I decided in my head it would be really sweet and likable of me to go, hi Jason. 
And it, it came out, I saw him, and it came out more like, Hi, Jason. Like, I was hitting on him. He looked at me like I just pulled his pants down and asked to take a picture. And by the way, I hadn't had a conversation with Jason at all. What is he going to think when I say hi to him? Oh my god, it's the guy with the long hair who doesn't know how to use words. What a treat. Anyway, back to the picture. So, we were standing outside and my friend was like, wait. You know when your friend's like, wait, like they know it's about to happen. They know it's time for a picture. She goes, wait. And like, I know how to pose. Like, I've been on social media posting pictures of myself for like 10 years. I know how to not look like me. I should teach a course and like there's a book and like there's a, an advertisement on BuzzFeed where there's like a big red arrow pointing to me and it's like, personal trainers hate this man. And you click on it and it's like, this man teaches chubby boys how to look sleek in his new process with this one weird trick. By the way, whenever it says one weird trick on a website, the trick isn't that weird. It's always like how to lose weight, eat kale. It's like that's not weird. It's not appealing, but it's not weird. But yeah, I'll admit it, I know how to pose. Like I do kind of a funny leg thing. Somehow I always know my good side even though I don't remember which side it actually is. I know it's one of these. Can you guess? Target versus Macy's or no? I think Macy's is the fanciest store I can think of. I'm relatable. And I was sucking in. I was sucking in so hard it was like if you played a video of somebody blowing up a balloon but rewound it. I'm like that's a good picture. Like I know what a good picture. You know when you take a picture that's so good and your friend sends it to you and you're like wow I am a good person. And I knew this was good. So when I posted it on Instagram it was like that scene in the Taylor Swift Netflix documentary. I don't know if you've seen it. This is not an ad by the way. I'm sure she's not nice. I'm not sure she's not nice, but I can't see her being like super warm to a waiter. But there's a scene where like she decides to be political for the first time and endorse some candidate in her home state and she's like on Instagram she's like five, four, that was literally me. I was like five, four, three, I look skinny. But I posted it and I can look at the comments five minutes later. I don't, I just lied. I didn't look at the comments five minutes later. I refreshed them until there was a comment. But the comments were like, skinny Drew's back. No more thick boy. Here we go. The boys are back in town. Like, he's skinny again. It's happening. And I was like, oh no. I look too good. Like, people think this is like my comeback as a skinny person. Like, this is like my, I haven't posted in three months and look what happened. Like, and by the way. I don't look that much worse than I do in that picture, but I don't look like that. I just don't. I'm not skinny. I'm not fat. I'm not huge, but like I weigh enough to where I wouldn't want to tell you. Like I'm kind of big. I have a belly. My face is kind of large. That's okay. I have round face. I have moon face. I just keep going. It's a weird complicated feeling when you're getting all these compliments from people on something that you don't feel actually is you, reflects you. Like it's like if you went to a Halloween party and you were wearing a full on mask and somebody tapped you on the shoulder and was like, you're cute though. It's like, thank you, but you have the wrong idea. So I felt weird, like I wanted to post a follow up being like, this is the real me. Just like me with my belly out, like the backside of the picture where I'm like, my wagon is still intact. Anyway, I just wanted to be honest, so I made a video about it, okay? I can't believe, I just, I think I just made a video where the moral is just be yourself. Like, is that really happening right now? I mean, I guess I'm just basically saying that quote of like, I'd rather be hated for what I am than loved for what I'm not. Like, I'm not saying anything new here, but it's all about the journey, right? By the way, I went to the doctor the other day because my heart was beating really fast whenever I stood up, and I was scared, you know? It was like, I know that's kind of a frightening thing to hear, so I went, and I was like, hey, this is happening, just wondering if that's like a big deal, and he goes, it's not a big deal. And I'm like, it feels like one. He told me I was de- he told me I was probably just dehydrated. Is dehydration even real? That's not a good message to put out. Okay, dehydration is real, but sometimes it feels like something doctors just say to shut us up. By the way, I went to the bank this morning. I looked so bad. Like, it was before I took a shower, I walked there and I was sweat. Tea. I was a sweetie. Like this happened. I, and I, by the way, I've always gone to the bank looking terrible. I used to go to the bank when I was rich. Like I was a rich 20 year old. I'm not going to lie to you. And I would look terrible. I'd be wearing like a gross t-shirt and gym shorts. And like now I go and I'm broke and I'm wearing the same thing. And I prefer the option with a little more irony, if you know what I'm saying. I swear five minutes after I got in line, the person in front of me looked at the person behind me and gave him like a sympathetic smile like, sorry you have to stand next to that. I know you think I'm lying, but that happened. 
Also, I kind of want to see that Ben Affleck movie where he's like a basketball coach. Because I saw a review that called it non-corny, and I was like, this sounds interesting. This is not an advertisement either. But like, I, I think I'm done with this. I'm just feeling anxious and saying everything that's going on in my head. And ain't that cool. Okay, thank you for watching this video. I'm sorry if it was too short. I'm a little anxious. I just want to take a walk. Let's sing. Leave me a comment. I'm very lonely Leave me a comment I'm very lonely I'm very lonely I'm very lonely I'm very lonely Do I get like two? much like I think I have a good voice does it have like I feel like when I'm being so sarcastic and self-deprecating and then I'm like oh uh, like is that a little uncomfortable no you know what I shouldn't have even said anything you know what part two just kidding okay thank you for watching bye bye